Okay, hey guys, um, back with another review for you. Uh, I'm sorry it's taken a little while longer than I intended it to. I was planning on doing one of these last week when I came to the end of my cold, or at least that was the plan. And then I got hit by another mystery illness, flu, virus, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, a wonderful gift from my wonderful kids. So, um,. Yeah, as you all probably know, it was uh, Little Man's first birthday last week. So, um, we had like a little party for him and whatnot. And with parties come kids, and with kids come wonderful, wonderful viruses. Um, and this one really, really hit. Um, so, why am I telling you all this? I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm telling you all this because I'm doing this as a word of warning. Um, I must be on... I don't know, I've had lem tips, I've had beet germs, I have had oh, all sorts of cough syrups and everything else just to get me to the point where I can actually talk and to, to stop me sounding completely congested. I'm still a little bit, so if I sound awful, I apologise. Um, but, so yeah, that's the reason why I'm warning you, because when I'm on that stuff, as you've probably seen before on some of my other videos, when I'm on this stuff, my mouth starts to kind of go on overdrive. And I come out with things which I can't control myself saying. So, probably not offensive stuff, just things that I probably shouldn't really be saying in reviews. So, um, but yeah. So, I have picked out for this review, well I'm actually going to try and do two tonight. I would like to be able to do more, but to be honest I don't think uh, the medicine's going to last that long. And I'm probably going to go back to resembling God knows what. So... Um, yeah, you should have seen me three days ago, it looked awful. I looked like the bad guy from uh, Poltergeist 2 for Reverend Kane. Remember Reverend Kane? The, uh, the guy, Carol Ann. We need you, Carol Ann. That guy. That was a terrible rendition. Anyway, um, so I picked out Fireside Treats, because winter's coming, and it's getting cold. Or, in my case, getting a cold. Um, so I thought, do something nice and warm and, you know, Keeping it nice and mellow and warm and cosy. So I picked out this fireside treats. So um picked this one out for a reason because I like fireside. If you've seen my fireside video or any of my other videos, you probably heard me mention the fact that fireside is one of my favourites. And it is. Ooh. Right, on a cold smell, don't we have have this on for days, not like I could smell it, but I can actually smell it now. Oh, the joys of Tixie Licks and Buttercup. That's not the, the thing that's for mention I'm on, sorry. Um, well, on a cold smell, believe it or not, it smells like a mixture of the original Fireside and Snow and Love. It's a nice, sort of fragrancy, perfumey, can I say fragrant? Fragrancy, of course it's going to be fragrancy. Perfumey. I told you I'm going to come out with all sorts. Um, it's kind of like a perfumey smell. It smells like snow in love. It really does. It's, a, it's sort of like a, a creamy version of snow in love, like buttercream and snow in love, but with a hint of the sort of smoky fireside kind of smell in there. Now, um, that's what it smells like on a cold smell, and it is really, really nice. I'm going to do it again. Sorry, guys. You imagine what's it called? You've been sat for three days with absolutely zero sense of smell, and you start smelling this stuff. Oh, that's nice. Now I've actually got this burning behind me, my oil burn. Sadly, it's taken me that long to actually stop sneezing and everything else, but it's kind of lost its smell. But I will say again, like I said, for the cold smell, on a warm smell, it smells like fireside and snow and love and buttercream kind of mix. Well, like a buttery creamy kind of smell, so it's those kind of three combined, and it, it works, it really, really works, I mean, I don't know how Yankee came up with this, I mean, if it were a case of one of them was walking along in the Yankee factory, accidentally tripped, knocked a load of um, snow in love into a fireside, and one guy says to the other, what's that done, that's not, hang on a minute, they wouldn't actually say that in America, would they? The Yankee Factory's in America, and that was a Yorkshire accent. That sounds like somebody out of Full Monty. Sorry, I'm a Yorkshire guy. That's what I'm going to come out with. Um, yeah, we'd be walking along. Um, 
I don't, I can't do an American accent. I really can't. I either end up sounding something like the Fonz or, um, or like Hugh Grant did in the movie Mickey Blue Eyes when he was trying to talk like a New Yorker. Um, yeah, what is it? Are oh, you doing? No, that's Joey Triviani, isn't it? From Friends. I'm sorry, I'm giving up on this. One guy says to the other guy, "What you done? You've knocked it into there." Oh, but it smells really, really nice. So, yeah, if, that, if that's how I did it, who knows? I mean, it, it just it does seem like sort of two things mixed, to be honest with you. But is it really, really nice? Yes, it is. Can I smell marshmallows in there? Don't think so. The reason why I say marshmallows, if you look on the packaging, it's got a picture of two marshmallows on a fire. So, um, I mean, I don't know, because I've not eaten hot marshmallows before. I've never sort of cooked marshmallows on a fire. Um, it's not really... Well, it probably is done over here. I just... I've never done it, so... Am I boring? Probably. Um, but, yeah, no, it's really nice, this. This is really nice. Um... The throw on it is really nice, really, really strong throw. Um, can smell it at the bottom of the stairs, probably halfway up. Fill this entire room within the space of about ten minutes, and I can smell it in the kitchen as well. Um, so that is a decent throw, and it had a decent bit of life on it. I only, I probably use less than a quarter um, of this stuff. I think it was about, yeah, probably less than a quarter of this, um, to be honest with you. And it, it, it did the trick. It lasted for about an hour, so. Um, would I say get this? Yeah, if you're into sweet kind of smells with a smell of smoke, um, don't worry, the smoke on this one is nowhere near as strong as it is on the original Fireside, which to me, I would have preferred it to be a little bit more smoky, but I'm strange like that. I like the smell of smoke. I just like the smell of petrol, but I'm not expecting Yankee Candle to do that anytime soon. So, I'm kind of saying I'm a weird guy. You should all know this by now. Um, so, yeah, um, it's a really nice smell so if uh, if you've not actually had this one yet definitely go out and get this um, this one's definitely got my thumbs up I definitely recommend this to pretty much anybody um, like I said don't worry about the smoky side of it it isn't that smoky it's I don't know it probably would be like a little campfire or something um, I mean if you have nice memories of sitting around a campfire that's brilliant um, so yeah, definitely try this. Um, right, what was I going to say? Oh, that's right, yes. Um, if you've managed to survive this entire video towards this point and not turn me off and got bored of me yet, um, I would first like to say thanks very much to all my new subscribers and to my old ones as well, don't want to forget you guys. Uh, to new subscribers, hello, how are you doing? Um, God help you for subscribing to me. Because... Um, you're probably going to end up insane after watching some of my videos, probably especially this one. So, um, if anybody actually wants to sort of get into this video after the, um, after the attempted to do the American accent, I apologise to all my, um, all my American, all my American viewers, I am so sorry. I did warn you all before when this video started, so, yeah, I can't do an American accent, I've never been any good at it. I can do Irish, I can do Scottish, obviously, because, you know, it's not exactly far away from me and you know, with some Scottish and Irish people. Um, Americans, I've had a few American friends, and every time I've ever attempted to do an American accent with them, they've always looked at me and gone, stop, you can't do it. I always end up sounding like Joey from Friends, apparently, or the Fonz, eee. Is that what the Fonz did? What did the Fonz do? He used to go, eee, or something like that. I don't know, I was having a kid when I used to watch those. Now I'm showing my age. No, actually, I'm not that old. I was like 80s. I was born in the 80s, and that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. Um, so, yes, thank you for listening to me ramble on about a load of nonsense, which I've probably nothing to do with Frankie Candle whatsoever, or Tarts, or anything like that. Um, I am intending to do another video tonight. Um, if I, for some strange reason you seem to enjoy this video, uh, please uh, give it a like if it's the first time you watch one of these and you want to see more, subscribe, I will be putting a few more up. Um, I'm also working on the uh, Halloween videos that I've been uh, mentioning before. I'm going to try and do a few Halloween tarts. Um, might even, I don't know how you guys feel about this, um, especially subscribers, considering while I do my... Um, 
Halloween tarts and whatnot. Throwing in a few of my favourite scary movies to give you all a few ideas. Well, not just scary movies. Uh, scary DVDs, shall we say? Yeah, scary DVDs to watch um, around Halloween. That's, you know, I'm not exactly the biggest horror fan in the world, but I do have a few nice choice, uh, nice things. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But one way or another, we're definitely going to get some um, Halloween videos as soon as I possibly can. I'm working on it. I do have a couple. Um, funnily enough, not tarts, but there you go, still Yankee, so it doesn't matter. I don't generally stray away from tarts, but these are the only ones I could get, so. Um, thank you very much for watching, uh, thank you for being so patient, um, and just thank you in general for watching this travesty of a video. Um, I will uh, be sending another video out soon, and I will see you all on the next review. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs>